Okay, so in this video, we're going to talk about declaring variables, row slash column vectors, matrices, using some simple commands. Um, they're really helpful in my lab. Uh, and then I will talk about some words that cannot be used as variable names because they're reserved for MATLAB functions and so forth. All right, so let's jump into it. Um, declaring a variable is really easy. Um, it's as simple as saying a is equal to seven. Um, but when you say that, what you're really telling, or what you're really saying, is um, the number seven is assigned to the variable a. Similarly, when you say dog is equal to 55, what you're saying is that the number 55 is assigned to the variable dog. Um, and you can basically call your variable anything. You can name it anything you want except for a few words. Um, so you can even say James Bond is assigned the number 007 or the number 007 is assigned to James Bond um there are however few things that also few things that you cannot you do to your variable names you cannot have your a variable name start with the number so you cannot say 16 handles for instance because it starts with a number and you cannot do that in my lab um or i don't know if you can do it in any coding language but that's a different question um okay so the way I want you to think about it, or the way I learned about it, is um, this is what's hap on the left side is what's happening in um, MATLAB or what you're typing in MATLAB, and on the right side it's what's actual what's happening inside the computer. Um, so when you say a is equal to seven or a is assigned the number seven. Um, what's happening inside the computer is you're telling the computer to go and f um get some space in the in the uh in its memory so it's taking a space a chunk of space it's naming it a and then it's putting a number 7 inside it so think of this square as as um as the space um that space is now named a and then it puts a number computer puts a number seven inside of it so every time um, I'm going to run this real quick every time you tell the computer uh, or if you tell MATLAB hey what's um, a equal to it will tell you that a is equal to seven because you are assigned it the number seven um, so so that's one way of thinking about it. Now, when I run this section right here, the the section in yellow, um, notice how it gives me a is assigned seven or a is equal to seven, and James Bond is equal to seven. Um, it should. I mean, I don't think it prints double O in front of it because it's it gets rid of it. To I don't know why, but yeah, it makes sense actually to not print it. Um, it does not print dog is equal to fifty five because of the semicolon right here um, when you put a semicolon at the end of a line of code it will not print the result that comes out of that line because um, it, you'll see that there are some numbers that you might not want to print for instance if you're um, if you're typing something like 1 through 1000 you don't want all these numbers right here so there, there will be times when you don't want to print the result and and you just suppress it using a semicolon and everything's good after that um, moving on to row vectors um, they're basically they're pretty similar a bit different um, a row vector is any one by n matrix um, so take any matrix that's one by n you can call it a row vector um, you use it a lot you also use column vectors a lot so here is an ex here is an example of um, row vector. Mango is assigned the the row vector one two three four. Um, these are one two three and four are the elements. Um, the syntax is one comma two comma three comma four, but the commas are optional, so you can just write Mango is assigned 
um, one, two, three, four, and it's fine. You can do that, and it assigns um, Mango a row vector that goes from one to four. Another way of um, assigning the same element or the same row vector to a variable is by saying, for instance, pair is equal to one colon four. What it does, it takes numbers one, two, three, and four because they're equally spaced apart by one digit. Um, that's why you can do this. Um, and then it prints it. So I'm going to run this program to see what we get. Um, and I think I think you should really um, type this into your own MATLAB because it's all about um, coding and the more you code the more you learn. Um, so you should totally type this into your own MATLAB um, program and, uh, and then see what you get. Um, I'm going to wait a second before running it in case you want to do it. Alright, so I'm going to run it. Um, so Mango is equal to one, two, three, four. It's a one by four uh, matrix, as we hope, we as we said it would be. Um, and pair is also one by four uh, matrix, which we said would be a row vector. Um, as you as you can see, Mango and pair are basically the same thing. So you can um, use different ways of declaring um, a row vector. Similarly, same goes for column vectors. Um, a column vector is anything that's any matrix that's in that's of size n by one. So if it's of size n by one, you can call it a you can call it a column vector. So here are a few examples that I thought were pretty good. Um, so if you think about years, um, there's 1995 semicolon here, 1997 semicolon here, 1999 semicolon here, and 2001. Um, see how I put a semicolon after these numbers inside these brackets? Um, that's a syntax uh, for column vectors. So what it does is it um, types in, it, it takes the 1995, then it goes to the next row, um, and then it says 19, so this is what it would look like, 1995, then it would go down, then you have 1997, then it would print that, it would go down to print 1999, it will go down to print 2001 so so this is this is what it would um, look like if you put a semicolon after every element so after this element putting a semicolon we make uh, make it go to the next line um, the other way of doing it is um, this way you can put um, co uh, commas and then um, transpose it at the end right here transpose it transpose the matrix making it a 1 by 4 matrix um, or, or rather, a four by one matrix. This is a this is this this matrix right here, as of right now, is a one by four matrix because it's going to be a a vector, uh, a row vector, and then you want to make it into a column vector. So you put um, you transpose it right here at the end to make it a co um, column vector. You can call like I said, you can call it anything. So I'm going to call it cookies. Um, is equal to since uh, note how these years are apart by two numbers or two years exactly so you can tell it to go from 1995 and then skip two years until it every time until it gets to 2001 and then similarly you have to transpose it here again um, this is just syntax um, but it's worth knowing and you're gonna have to use it um, a lot so I'm going to run this section to see if they are all indeed equal like I said they would be um, let's see like I said um, years are equal 1995, 1997, 1999, 2001 same here and same thing here so, so you can really use different ways of writing um, this column and row vectors um, and they're they're not too complicated. They might seem like they might seem complicated at first, but once you start um, using them a lot, they're they're really simple, and and they're fun too, I guess. <laughs> okay, so matrices. Um, you can I'm gonna call these are similarly, um, these are declared using either 
or you can use spaces in between you can um, use commas in between you can use um, different methods of um, you can use different methods to declare matrices so here you can see this is already a 2 by 4 matrix a 2 by 4 2 down and 4 to the right a 2 by 4 matrix um, another way of doing it is use uh, saying 1 space 2 space 3 space 4 of uh, semicolon um, 5 space 6 space 7 space 8 so what this does is it prints here I'm going to I'm going to show what it prints first and, and how it does it it goes alright I'm going to print 1 2 3 4 and then I'm going to go down I'm going to print 5 6 7 and 8 um, except this would be like in, 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 in one like right like, like it would be like this um, the same goes for here as we've seen earlier that you, the commas are optional so you don't need to put them there um, so what I claim is that these three matrices are the same I'm gonna name them different things um, uh, so we can see that they're all different so it would just be reassigning it if you use one name over and over in the if you use one variable over and over in your program it will reassign it so you gotta be careful about that so okay um, let's see if salty s and d are indeed the same matrices here we have one two three four five six seven eight here we have the same um, numbers in the same order um, same goes for D so yes um, salty S and D are indeed um, the same matrices um, so going back to that picture how I want you to think about row vectors is similar to how I, how I want you to think about um, um, single scalar variables um, you think of it as say you have um, a variable called bananas which is assigned um, the numbers 1 2 3 4 it's a row vector so in the in the computers into in the computer it goes um, there and it tells the computer to make a 1 by 4 um, vector or take space for 1 by 4 um, matrix and it tells it to put in the numbers it says take the first element and put it in the first space take the number two put it in the second space put the third element put it in the third space and take the fourth element and put it in the fourth space so this is what um, this if you think of it like this it will make your life much easier when you when you're dealing with loops and um, things of um, things that are more complicated than just assigning variables then you have your column vectors say you have grades of um, I don't know four students right here and they are 90, 98, 50, and 40. So s notice how there are semicolons after each um, each number uh, besides 40. That's because this is a column vector. When, you, when you're when you dealing with column vectors, what you do is um, think of it, you want to think of computer making a 1 by 4 in this case because there are 4 elements, 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 elements so you want to think of computer making a one by uh, I mean four by one um, matrix uh, inside the inside its memory so it goes into its memory it's, it tells the computer the uh, MATLAB tells the computer to make something uh, make a one by I mean four by one matrix called grades and it tells it to put the numbers 90 into the first um, column I mean first box then 98 into the second box, 15 to the third box, and 40 into the last box. So take the first element, 90, put it in the first box, take the second element, 98, put it in the second box, take the third element, 50, and put it in the third box, and do the same with 40. And you, you keep doing that for all the elements you have. If you go, You're going to be dealing with um, vectors that are pretty large about like the sometimes you deal with ones that are about 10,000 spaces long and things get complicated that's when you lose track of um, uh, numbers if you're not using uh, methods like these or something similar to it um, 
last few things I want to talk about are some commands and then we'll be done so the command whose the command whose basically um, it's I, I wouldn't say it's too useful because you can what well, I'll, I'll show you what it does when you run this what command whose does is it basically prints out everything that's in the workspace right here right here so it basically prints everything out that's over there it also tells you how big everything is which I don't think you can see right here but besides that it's not much it's not that great um, clear basically what this command clear will do is it will clear out your entire workspace so once it's clear if you type in a right here it will give you an error because it doesn't you haven't declared the variable yet um, so I'm gonna run clear real quick so see how this is clear now um, if I type in a I'll get an error because it's no longer assigned to it but earlier we assigned a to a number I think it was seven um, we assigned seven to a I mean um, and then in the end once you're see how there's a lot of um, stuff here that you don't really care about like this um, outputs you can clear those outputs using um, the command CLC if you type CLC here or CLC here what it will do is it will clear the um, the output history or it will clear the command window um, so you can do it from you can do it from either by, by typing it here and then running it or you could just type it in the command window here and then clear everything um, I really hope that helped. I think I'm way over my time, but um, leave a comment. If I can do anything to help you with anything else, let me know. Thank you. Until next time.